Good day. This is Larry Klayman, special prosecutor with Larry Klayman, with my daily broadcast t- coming to you after the acquittal of Donald J. Trump in the impeachment trial in the U.S. Senate. Of course, the night before, when the president gave a State of the Union speech, it was that vile, wicked witch of the left, a co-wicked witch with Hillary Clinton, Nancy Pelosi, who ripped up the speech disrespectfully. Now, I don't want people to be lulled sleep here. The fact that the president was acquitted with regard to this impeachment trial is just the beginning. It is not the end. These rabid leftists will give up nothing in terms of their attempts to remove this president in whichever way they can, legally, illegally, you can name it. And that's why we, the American people, need to support this president and be vigilant and fight. We at Freedom Watch don't just get documents, as my former group, which I founded in 1994, does. We bring hard-hitting cases and citizens' grand juries. We use this podcast and the radio show weekly, Special Prosecutor with Larry Klayman of the same name, to educate the American people, to bring them together. Because Benjamin Franklin said in the days leading up to our revolution, if we don't all hang together, we will all hang separately. Now, I'm pursuing a number of hard-hitting cases against the radical left and its leftist media. Go to freedomwatchusa.org, see our leftist media strike force. I file at least one defamation case every week, that's libel and slander, for my clients who have been smeared and destroyed by the left. And if that's not enough, if the libel and slander doesn't work, then they're insulted. People like Antifa, you know, not people, but a group comprised of radical atheists and anarchists, assaulted a client of ours, Kiara Robles, many, many years ago. The case is still going through the courts. She's a really fine gay woman who went to see uh, Milo Yiannopoulos speak at Berkeley University. She wound up getting attacked, and we brought a lawsuit against Berkeley and Antifa and everyone. We have cases for Dimitri Penny, a brave African-American police officer who was in the massacre, assaulted about three years ago in Dallas, Texas. He went up against Black Lives Matter, Louis Farrakhan, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, others, brave people. Judge Roy Moore down in Alabama has been defamed viciously. He's now running again for the US, U.S. Senate. He's someone who has morals. He's someone who has ethics. They destroyed him in the media. We've had cases for him as well, and those are ongoing. Of course, there's Laura Loomer, who was attacked by Rashida Tlaib at a campaign event less than a year ago. And she's, of course, fighting through the courts with regard to Rashida Tlaib, someone who dressed in Muslim garb during the State of the Union message with Ilham Omar, not because they were trying to respect their heritage, but it was a, a, a poke in the face of the president because of his immigration policies. That's what it's about. I want you to go to freedomwatchusa.org, see all the cases that we have brought, really hard-hitting cases. You know, when you bring a Freedom of Information Act case, and that's good, and we do that too at Freedom Watch, you'll always win. I mean, you hear people crowing at Freedom at Judicial Watch, like Tom Fitton, another major victory. Yes, you get documents. But the question is, what do you do with the documents? Do you simply go on TV, on Fox News, and ask the government to do the work of we the people? Because the government isn't going to do it. We see, even under the current Attorney General, Bill Barr, He had a chance to indict James Comey twice, a referral by an Obama-appointed inspector general. He took a dive. Same thing with regard to Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe. Bill Barr took a dive. Hillary Clinton and her corrupt foundation, which is engaged in racketeering, breaking in hundreds of millions of dollars by shaking people down while she was Secretary of State. The Attorney General took a dive. No prosecution. John Durham up there in Connecticut. We've heard nothing from him. I think we'll probably all expire by the time anything happens with regard to that. And why is that? Because there's mutual assured destruction in our nation's capital and the state capitals around the world, the country and the world. This mass surveillance, which the government conducts on all of us, and I know because we enjoined them twice in cases for this mass surveillance, which violates the Fourth Amendment, they have dirt on everyone, the intel agencies and the FBI. No one wants to say anything. Did you see the demeanor of Chief Justice John Roberts during the impeachment trial? He literally was ducking. He was putting his head down. 
I mean, the guy has no gravitas. He's afraid of his shadow. Now, thank God it didn't come to a vote that he had to break a tie with regard to the conviction of Donald Trump, because surely he would have voted with the Democrats. He's a closet liberal. This is what we're up against. What do they have on Roberts that caused him to flip on Obamacare at the last moment? This is why you need a Freedom Watch. It's why we, the people, need to rise up peacefully and legally. It's why we need to bring citizens' grand juries and indict Pelosi and indict Gerald Nadler and indict Schiff and indict Comey and McCabe and Orr and Brennan and Clapper, the intelligence czars. We need to try them. We need to convict them. We need to have them sentenced. And we need to ask this president to, in fact, meet out those sentences. Now, I was listening to him this morning at the National Prayer Breakfast. And he's not turning the other cheek. He says they're meeting at the White House to decide what to do now, because they know that the left is coming for them. The left wants to seize control of this country. The left wants to turn it into a socialist, communist, gulag, Bolshevik state. There's no question about it. And that's, the, in fact, the mood of the Democratic Party. You can see in the Iowa caucuses, Biden, of course, who's senile and who's corrupt, along with his son, Hunter, came in a distant fourth. It's the communists and the socialists that, in fact, won the day out there. And this is why we, the American people, need to rise up. The prevalence of socialism and communism in our country today is greater than it's ever been. It's just that no one wants to recognize it in a major way. You know, Eugene McCarthy went too far many years ago. But I'll tell you something. If he was alive today, he would actually have a lot of work to do to do it ethically and legally, not the way he did it. But we are faced with a crisis in this country. We are, Joseph McCarthy, by the way, we are faced, faced with a crisis in this country. It's either us or them. It's either the continuation of this republic or the death of this republic. And we don't want violence like Antifa. We don't want violence like other sectors of this country, radical activists in a lot of different areas that take matters into their own hands. So that's why you need to join Freedom Watch at USA, freedomwatchusa.org and support the Clive and Bundy Defense Fund at cliveandbundydefensefund.org because even the Trump Justice Department under Barr is trying to throw him in prison still after the political prosecution, I would say persecution of the Obama Justice Department years. And support Dr. Jerry Corsi at corsilegaldefensefund.com. He's still fighting in the courts against Robert Mueller for his violation of constitutional rights by Mueller. So I, that's my message this morning. Do not think it's over. Do not put your feet up on the, on the desk or on the couch and think that it's over. You need to join Freedom Watch's Justice League. Go to freedomwatchusa.org and spread the message through this podcast and our radio show each week. You can find it at freedomwatchusa.org. You can find it at radioamerica.com. You can find it at Facebook, at Spotify at Patreon, at American Greatness. Sign up for this podcast. Spread the word. We are doing something. We are your Justice Department, and I want you to join us. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless America, and God save America. And go to freedomwatchusa.org. Support our cause and sign up for our Justice League. You are the superheroes. Thank you for listening to me. Hey, Kev, the client needs that document ASAP. I'm trying, but the internet is so slow. And now it isn't working at all. Is your internet provider holding your business back? Switch to one who keeps you moving forward. At Cox Business, we know how crucial connectivity is to your business. That's why we give you the peace of mind of around-the-clock network monitoring and 24-7 support. So if your provider isn't setting your business up for success, make the switch to Cox Business today. Get 50 megs of internet for only $95 per month with a three-year agreement. Ends 4 30 Restrictions apply. Visit coxbusiness.com for details.